This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Warhammer 40k scented candles. Today we will be rigorously testing and giving a serious review to each of the five candles in the range, both in terms of how nice these smell as candles, but also in terms of how lore accurate the candles are to their respective factions. Does Slanesh's soporific musk hold up to its namesake? Do tyranid toxic spores improve your nervous system and make you more loyal to your hive queen? The answer is yes. But of course it's a little bit more complicated than that, so stay tuned to find out everything there is to know about the world of Warhammer 40k scented candles. Let's start out with the most basic of the candles as well as the most basic of the factions. Dark Angels Tallow underscore underline the scent of faith. This candle is light green to match the iconic armor of the Space Marine chapter that it's named after, and it smells okay, I guess. It kind of smells like the sort of candle you would find in a hotel bathroom. It's not the worst of the candles in the range, but it's also not the best. In other words, it's the Space Marine of candles. The candle's name, Dark Angel's Tallow, is a reference to old candles that were made of tallow, which are well known for having a terrible smell. So maybe thematically it's supposed to smell bad? If you like alcohol-based perfumes, this candle might be for you, but to me, it just smells like a kind of overpowering cologne that an old man might wear, which again is thematically appropriate for the Dark Angels, who are a group of secretive old men who would probably totally love to wear a cologne like this. Next up, we have the Astra Militarum Catachan Potpourri Scent of a Death World. And I'm gonna tell you, this smell is appropriate. It is the worst smelling candle in the entire range. It makes me feel physically ill to smell this candle and it's probably going in the garbage after I finish filming this video. This is also probably the strongest smell in the entire range. The other ones have more mild smells, more mild pleasant smells whereas this one is just hot garbage. However, I do have to give them credit where credit is due. It does smell like the sort of potpourri that a Katachan soldier would make on a world that is inhospitable to human life. So 10 out of 10 stars in terms of how lore accurate this candle is. Also just a fun weird thing, my Katachan candle came with a Dark Angels lid for some reason. I guess the people at uh, Merchoid got confused it also like, looks like this one was dropped a few times, so maybe it dropped on the floor and they put the wrong lid on. I don't know. But yeah, anyway, this is the worst candle. Do not buy this candle unless you hate yourself, which if you're a Katachan player, you probably already do. So maybe this is the right candle for you. Finally, with the disgusting smells of the Imperium, out of the way, we can start reviewing the actual good candles. But before we do that, I'd like to tell you a little bit about today's sponsor, Squarespace. If you haven't heard of Squarespace, it's an all-in-one website design and hosting service that gives you a ton of drag and drop options to build your site. One of my goals for 2022 was to maintain a website to catalog all of my hobby projects. And if you go to howlcorp.com, you can check out what I've done so far. In just a few hours over the course of a week or two, I was able to put together this site, and so far, it's got a photo gallery, the updated rules for miniature pile of shame golf, as well as a tiny shop where right now you, there's only one item to buy and it's the STL files for the pile of shame golf mascot. So if like me, you want to build your own website in 2022, either for a new year's resolution or a new business or hobby project, make sure to check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Dana Howell to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain using the code Dana Howell. The next candle I would like to tell you about is the Tau Ethereal Candle, aka Tau Pheromones, aka the scent of expansion. And this one is quite literally just a vanilla candle. A nice blue colored vanilla candle, but yeah, it's just a vanilla candle. It's definitely a pleasing scent if you enjoy vanilla. And much like the Tao Empire, this candle is going to improve your sector of the universe in every way possible, and it is much better than both of the Imperial candles, so it's lore accurate that way as well. However, it's also going to make everything just kind of vanilla flavored, so it's 
But what I'm saying is, I think vanilla is the perfect representation of the Tao Empire. Because vanilla is a boring flavor, and the Tao Empire just kind of makes everything very samey. So once again, I think the theme fits really well here. Pick up this candle if you enjoy Tao, vanilla candles, or you're boring. Next up, we have my favorite candle in the entire range. You can see it's already pretty well used, and I'm burning it right now. And that is Tyranid's Toxicrine Spores, which it says on the website is supposed to emit the scent of the Great Devourer when burned. And I gotta tell you, it may just be because I've been burning this candle for way too long, but I feel more loyal to my Hive Queen than I ever have before. And I really like this scent. It's sort of a bitter, fruity smell, but not too fruity. It's like kind of bitter. It reminds me a lot of Christmas, and it also gives me a really nostalgic feeling for some reason. If I was to paint you a visual picture of how this candle smells, you're on vacation in a, a ski chalet somewhere, there's snow coming down outside, and you and your friends are all next to the fireplace playing Dungeons and Dragons or something. That's that's the smell of this. Or maybe it just smells like a, someone's parents' house. I don't know, but I really, I really enjoy it. This is my favorite candle in the range. As for how lore accurate that candle is, I think it's 100% accurate because the best smelling candle should also apply to the best faction in 40K, which is Tyranids, so it fits perfectly. Finally, we have the candle that everyone's curious about, and that is Slanesh Soporific Musk, aka the scent of delusion. This is definitely one of the most interesting scents in the range. It's a very floral scent. I would say it's a little bit perfumey, but not in a bad way, not in an alcohol-based perfume kind of way. It's a bit floral, and I think what they were going for here is sort of a lavender smell, which makes sense with the candle's name, which is Soporific Musk, and the word Soporific, I had to look this up, is like something that helps lull you to sleep. Makes sense because often lavender scents are associated with sleep and helping you sleep. This candle is probably my second favorite candle right next to the Tyranids candle. I think it's also my second favorite faction out of these five factions. The theming I think also fits pretty well here as it smells kind of like luxurious and like um, kind of a bit extra. If you're a Slanesh player, I think you would really enjoy this candle. In summary, if you've been keeping up, I would rate the Tyranids candle as the best candle, the Slanesh candle right below that, the Tau candle as the medium, kind of just average candle, uh, the Space Marine candle as kind of okay, but kind of bad, I don't really like it, and then the Katachan candle as absolute hot garbage, throw it in the garbage. And that is my candle rating for 2022. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. And thank you to all my patrons, as always, for allowing me to do silly videos like this as a full-time job. Hope you enjoyed this candle review, and I will see you in the next Normal Hobby video.